Meanwhile, at this noon hour, we want to turn now to new video that's been released just today of an accident involving a front runner train and a FedEx truck. Now, the accident occurred Saturday, but this new video brings to light reasons that the front runner train collided with the truck. New specialist Sean Moody has been looking into the video here. Sean, incredible images here. Yeah, Cheryl, Laura, this is pretty unbelievable. The video, it's 15 minutes long. It's a video from a North Salt Lake police cruiser that shows the seconds leading up to the crash and then the aftermath as emergency services arrive. Here you see the truck crossing the tracks. The big takeaway is you can see there the crossing arms were not down, the lights were not flashing. There's the impact when that truck went across the tracks. The Utah Transit Authority is trying to figure out why that was the case, why those arms weren't down. The vehicles were approaching that crossing. Those two FedEx trucks went across. The one in front of the police cruiser actually made it across without a problem, but it was that oncoming FedEx truck crossing that that front runner train plowed through right behind the cab where that driver was sitting. Nobody had any serious injuries as a result of this crash. Two people were treated for minor injuries. Now, about 30 seconds after the collision, you'll see the lights there start flashing, uh, the, the crossing gates come to life and those arms start coming down. That actually happens a couple of more times after the crash through the course of this video as drivers continue to cross the tracks. Now I just spoke with a UTA spokesperson who told me that they're trying to get to the bottom of what happened. He said they believe the arms had been affected by snow and ice, which means they're designed to move to the down position by default. He said they had been down, but then they had come back up at some point. Their safety chief is investigating as are other agencies. He's said they have never had anything like this happen and they want to make sure it doesn't happen again. I also asked about what kind of procedures they have for those trains when they're approaching a crossing like this one. We plan to have a more thorough interview with them this afternoon and we'll have updates on KSL 5 News at 5 and 6. Shara. All right, Sean, I, that video just intense to watch it there. Thank you. Well, desperate officials.